This short video will demonstrate how to print grid lines, how to display underlying formulas, how to fit a worksheet on one page, and how to widen a column using AutoFit. Here's an Excel worksheet of a simple profit and loss statement with bottom borders applied to rows 2, 4, and 6. As you know, Excel worksheets are made up of numbered rows and lettered columns. Blue grid lines are visible on the computer screen, enabling the user to view these rows and columns in order to navigate on the worksheet. When a worksheet is printed, these grid lines do not print. Selecting the Office button, Print, Print Preview, shows what the printed worksheet will look like. No grid lines. The only lines are the bottom borders that were placed on rows 2, 4, and 6. Clicking the Close Print Preview button returns us to the worksheet. You don't want to confuse viewing grid lines on your screen with printing grid lines on a hard copy printout. The screen grid lines can be turned off on the Page Layout ribbon by clicking to remove the check mark from the View Choice in the Sheet Options group. Here's what the screen looks like without the blue grid lines. To make the grid lines visible again, click next to the View Choice to replace the check mark. Placing a check mark in the box next to the Print Choice will print the grid lines on a hard copy printout. Using Print Preview again shows how the worksheet will appear with the grid lines printing. As you know, Excel has two ways to view a worksheet. The default Values view, which shows the answers or values of any formulas used in the worksheet, and Formulas view, which shows the formulas as they were typed into the worksheet. To display the underlying formulas on your screen, select the Formulas ribbon and click Show Formulas in the Formula Auditing group. Clicking Show Formulas a second time will return the screen to Values view. A faster method to display formulas is to hold down the control key on the keyboard and tap the Grave Accent key once. The control key is in the lower left corner and the Grave Accent key is just beneath the Escape key at the top of the keyboard. Using this keyboard shortcut method a second time will return the screen to Values view. Often when formulas are displayed, the worksheet is too large to fit on one page as shown in this page layout screen. The worksheet can easily be fit to one page by selecting the page layout ribbon and click the scale to fit dialog launcher to open the page setup dialog window. In the middle section of the window, click the circle next to fit to to automatically fit the worksheet to one page wide by one page tall. Click the OK button to close the window. The worksheet now fits on one page. Remember to use Save As to save this change before closing your file. When you see pound signs in a cell, Excel is indicating the number is longer than the width of the column. To automatically widen the column, click on a cell displaying the pound signs, on the Home ribbon, click Format in the Cells group and select Auto Fit Column Width. The full number is now visible. A faster method to automatically widen a column is to double click on the right border of the column heading. Remember to use Save As to save the changes.